Don't Americans want freedom? Well, these Americans do. This was a gathering of libertarians at the Porkfest Festival in New Hampshire. The name Porkfest doesn't come from the pork that politicians hand out and that we libertarians hate. Porkfest stands for the Porcupine Freedom Festival. The porcupine is the symbol of the Libertarian Party because porcupines are peaceful animals that just want to be left alone. But you better not monkey with them because they have sharp quills. You leave me alone and I'll leave you alone. Matt Phillips is the president of the Free State Project, which is an ambitious effort to get freedom-loving people to move to one state where they could have enough influence on government to limit it. We've got about 2,000 people that have moved so far. We've got another 2,500 that were already here who uh, signed up as friends of the Free State Project. we got 18,000 more on the way. First New Hampshire, then the world. Why New Hampshire? Why not Australia? I mean, we're higher on the Economic Freedom Index. My producer, who's from Australia, didn't understand why libertarians picked New Hampshire. You know, we have no uh, state income tax. We have no state sales tax. It's the place where we lure people to give them a taste of what it's like to be hanging out with other libertarians all the time. Time. And they, a lot of people come here and they either never leave or they, they realize that they've got to move here uh, pretty quickly. Here, freedom lovers get to be with other people who care about freedom. Maybe if you like to do some drugs other than alcohol, uh, you know, nobody's going to bat an eye at that and uh, be too concerned as long as you're not hurting anybody. Suddenly I was uh, feeling not um, as isolated anymore. Every day of the month, if you wanted to, you could go to a different libertarian meetup group. Sometimes you talk about politics, sometimes you talk about the movie you saw last night. But when you're talking about it, you've got that underlying shared understanding of the way the world works and the way the world should be ordered. And uh, that can be really comforting. It's a relief from standard American politics. Everything is the state. Get the state to do it. The state should fix the problem. The state should arbitrate differences. The state, the state, the state. Not here. This is like the condensed idea of what libertarianism and anarchism has to offer. Entrepreneurial skills. You have all the different vendors with all the different products. Products you can pay for with Bitcoin. Around here, they're not enthusiastic about government money. No one really wants to get stuck with Federal Reserve notes at the end of Porkfest. And much of what is sold is just left out on the tables. Pay by honor system. You could walk up to that table and get a piece of silver bullion off of it and just walk away at 2 o'clock in the morning. But there might be an AR-15 in the tent. Right. The honor system works in the libertarian world because many people are packing. If you bump into five individuals at any one time, three of them are probably armed and two of them heavily. This is LC Ruger 380. It's very comfortable and it's colorful. An armed society is a polite society and that's what we have here. We have an armed and very polite society. Not only would we defend our own property, we would defend each other's property. There are plenty of people here who like being different. For a week, I kind of get to pretend that I live in a little tiny society uh, made up of uh, people that love freedom. I was originally born in the Soviet Union, so I know firsthand that socialism doesn't work. There's a diversity of opinion here, even within the libertarian community. So it's just nice to see all that kind of brought together. You have the church just up the hill. You have the mosque here. You have the pagan t you know, thing is just right over there. All these people from all these different walks of life. Most libertarians their whole lives have been told, oh, you're a freak, you're on the fringe, you're strange, you're radical, you're dangerous. So one of the things you discover here is we're all normal people. There's nothing that says that I have to respect your opinion, just that you have a right to it and that I don't have a right to beat you over the head and change you to my opinion. All we desire is to live free, to be left alone and to be free to associate with, with friends without being prevented by, by the federal government. I was always a Republican. Um, up until October 3rd, 2008. That was when George W. Bush signed TARP into law. I walked away from the Republican Party that day. People here are upset with Republicans and Democrats. What we find so often with state efforts to fix the problems, turns out they make them even worse. They attempt to raise wages, they cause unemployment. You know, they attempt to, to create recovery, they cause, they cause recession. You know, they attempt to get bad guys overseas, instead they start wars and, and generate terrorism. You see it in case after case after case. So all we're really saying is, hey, let's give freedom a chance, because freedom works. These people know that today libertarians aren't going to take over America or even New Hampshire. 
But when your hopes and dreams are crushed in November, <laughs> come on up to New Hampshire where we actually have a shot of uh, making some progress.